Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to build a multi-agent app from scratch using all open source stack. So we're gonna use Olama as a framework to inference large language model or run large language models. You know, nowadays, you know, most of you are probably looking at local LLMs, private LLMs that you can basically, you know, download it and use it in your system. Okay. You know, most of the time, if you want to build agents, you would be using, you know, frameworks, agent frameworks like Crew AI, you know, Langgraph, you know, uh, you have SmithOS, you know, you have AutoGPT, bunch of other, you know, agent frameworks that you can use uh, to build it. But that somebody else had built it. And you were just using it to create some wrappers or, you know, nothing wrong in building wrappers, but you know, if you want to develop understanding, you know, clear understanding of how these things works, okay, and if you really want to, you know, do good in this field, then you should understand how it really works right in the back end. The, the fundamentals should be clear and you can only master it, you can only learn it if you can build it from scratch. You know, you do not have to depend on high level abstract classes. You know what I'm what I mean, right? So if you look at Crew AI, you like like you write five six lines of code and then your agents are done, right? You have a goal, you have a backstory, you, you give a prompt, and it executes some task, you know, in a collaborative manner. You know, if it's a multi-agent system, that's what it does. But imagine how the developers at Crew AI, the com the members have developed it. That's the agenda. I already have created a video, so let me show you that. Now, if you look at here on my screen. This is the app, of course, that we're gonna build it. But you know, this is the video that uh, I have created yesterday. You know, uh, has really got a good response. Uh, I will recommend you to watch this video. If you if you don't watch this video, then you can't understand the current video that I'm creating. It will be a waste of your time. Okay. So if you want to really understand, because I'm not gonna write any code in this current video, because I have written hell lot of code in this one. It's You can see it's one hour, 30 minutes, 90 minutes video, so it's completely end-to-end uh, -end video. So I'm not gonna write a lot of code because most of the codes are modular, reusable, so you can use the same classes and functions. I'm just gonna show you that how we can replace open AI LLMs like GPT-40 and 40 mini and stuff with local models. For local models, we are using something called Olama. So you can see the Olama over here. You know, if you don't have uh, Olama in your system, if you want to install it, you have to click on download. Depending on your operating system, if you are on Mac OS, it will be a different file that it will get downloaded. If you are Linux, you will have a command to run it. And then if you are on Ubuntu, you know, you can click on this and it says download. You can see it over here. On Windows, you have an exe or something to basically run it. In Linux, you will have a command. You can see it over here. If you are doing it in a Google Colab, then you should run this command. This is for Ubuntu. Okay. And then you have Mac OS to download it. Now, once you download it, you can see I'm already running it over here. Let me open that. I'm running something called O Llama Run Llama 3.2 3B. Let me do a control Z and show you. If you do O Llama list over here, it will show me all the models that I already have downloaded. Okay. Now, what happens with Olama? Olama is not the only one, guys. There is Light LLM, there is Olama, there is Cobol, there is Lama CPP, there is you know C Transformers, there is LM Studio, blah blah blah. A lot of other things that you can use to run or inference language models or large language models in your machine. Okay. Now, to use Olama, you know you have to come here and pull a model first. So, for example, if you want to try the Lama 3.2 model, you know you can just do Olama pull. And then you can write llama 3.2 uh, llama 3.2 and then different weights variant like you no know, 1 billion 3 billion and so on and so forth so i already have that so i'm not doing it and then you have it you have to just run that o llama run and llama 3.2 and 3b right this is how you run it now once you run it you know it will for the first time it will take a bit of time but the next time onward it will be a bit it will be fast right so it takes a few seconds and then you can you can ask questions like what is ai or something when I do that, you can see it's basically responding something in my system about AI and you know blah blah blah. Right? This is how you set up Olama. Right? Now if you have Olama, right now we're doing it in command line terminal. Nobody cares about CLI anymore, right? So you know CLI is not what you need. Okay. Uh, we need to go and build this system. If you look at here, the app that we have, right? This app. Now, this app basically does three things. It can summarize medical text, 
write and refine research articles so it can write a research article and can also sanitize medical data so the phi information protected health information the medical text data that you have the medical data of some patients they have phi information that has to be sanitized and redacted before you you can process and you can run some algorithms on top of it that's what the hipaa compliant and the gdpr says right now these are the three tasks that we are doing it here you know and it's in a multi collaborative nature so let me just show you the code okay i can see it has written bunch of thing over here you know about ai and i'm already running this app so you can see the app that is running already and i'm going to walk you through the code now okay so let me show you the code guys okay about about it so uh, i'll just do a control z here okay that's fine if it's you know if it's not okay it happened let me just do a control dot let me show you what we are doing i have a test.py file i'm going to talk about this agents utils because i already have talked about it in the previous video where we did it with the closed source model i announced in the last video that i will make an open source based as well and this is what i'm doing right now now in the test.py we are importing olama and then we have response you know in that we are defining a user role and then the content that is basically the question that user will ask defining the model and of course you can pass all the inference parameters like temperature and so on and so forth right and then you get the print response message content this is my test.py that will run that will run you know in your terminal and wherever right if you look at here i just going to do python test.py when you do python test.py you know if you run it over here you know you can see the question is why is the sky blue it will answer it why is the sky blue it of course takes a bit of time to run it because we are running it now through olama to install it for so you you need a requirements txt and in the requirements txt we have all the requirements uh, that is required you can see we have olama we have streamlit we have pandas we have logguru we have python.env the reason that we are using is because we have also have logging so we are using logguru for that we have streamlit because it's a streamlit app and then we have olama to run it okay now let's go back here and you can see it says why the sky is blue it says uh, the sky appears blue because of a phenomenon called rayleigh scattering named after the british physicist lord rayleigh who first described it in the late 19th century blah 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 it's a physics topic now if you look at the previous video okay and also available on our github repository so let me just go back to our github you can see i already have created a repo called ai agents from scratch using olama Okay, AI agents from scratch, scratch using Olama, local LLMs, blah blah blah. Now come back here. Okay, and let's go back to agents. In the agents folder, I have bunch of agents. The only file that I'm going to focus is two files: agent base py and one of the tool or agent that we have created. Rest of the files completely remain same, guys. You're not going to make any changes because it's so modular and reusable that we created in the last video. Now, in the agent dot agent base dot py. what we are doing we are using now olama as you can see last video we are using open ai right and then this remains same here we are not making any changes we have the same init function we have the same abstract method and then we have call llama in the previous video we called it call open ai now here we are calling it call llama have some temperature max tokens blah 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 and then this is for logging so i'm just ignoring it now this is the thing that we have i commented it as well This is what we have made changes. We have the model, and if you want to use other models or multiple models, you have to basically write it over here. The response part, you know, this is where you can update the model. And this parsing has to be changed as well, depending on because you are using Olama local LLMs, it supports a different post processing techniques to parse the output. It's not like response choices zero and message or content in OpenAI that we do. So this is this is what you have to do. So th these are the things that we are changing here in the agent base dot py. Now, if you go to any one of the agent like summarize tool, okay, let me just do an Alt J so you can see it. Okay, the only thing that you're gonna change is this one, self dot call llama. Here we are early. Here we earlier used it used it self dot call open AI. Now we are using self dot call llama, and that's what we are doing. That's the only thing. Everything can be same. You do not have to change anything at all. Okay, uh, in any one of these agents and tool that we have built, just. replace the call open ai with call llama to make sure that you are calling this model that has been defined here in this function that's called defined call llama and then we will be able to run it so let me show you that quickly now i'm just going to do streamlit 
run app.py now when you run it it will open it in a new tab you can see it over here and you know we can just take this tonsillitis i have shown this in but i want to keep the same thing that i've created in the previous video so you can follow along so you must watch this video before you jump into this one okay now here we have summarize write and refine research article and sanitize medical data so let me just paste it over here and when i click on summarize now when you do summarize let me show you what it happens it says it's a sending message to olama you can see it over here summarize tool it call, it receives a response once it receives the response it gives a concise summary it says here is a concise summary of the medical text it then passes it to validator agent so we have two agents for this huge case this task one is the summarizer who summarizes it the other one is the validator who validates the summarized response if that is aligned to the original context or the original text data that we have right now if you look at here this is nothing but the agents the tools that they are leveraging and you can see sending messages to Olama received response. And this is summarize validator agent sending messages to Olama received response analysis, blah, blah, blah. It also says the summary accurately captures the key points of the original text, including the definition of tonsillitis. It causes blah, blah, blah symptoms, complications. Summary also maintains a concise tone, highlighting the main points without unnecessary details, blah, blah, blah. It gives you a rating out four out of five. So basically you build it now you can also try it out the other two things you can write articles or sanitize medical data but this is what it is guys you know it has a so for these two use case summarize medical test and sanitize medical data we have two two things uh, one is the summarizing and sanitizing and then the validator respectively okay for both of it and for write and refine we have three agents one is who writes the article uh, uh, given a topic and outlines the other one is refine it makes it refined based on the instructions that you set in the prompt and the last one is validators who validates the final refined article to basically give you this is what it does so code is available on github repository go and you know clone this or fork this repository i'll show you the previous one as well so if you look at the previous one this was the open ai one which already have five star and three fork you can see multi-agent system from scratch we have a complete readme that you can follow along so wanted to create this with open source guys completely no api keys nothing you can build from scratch it's very important for you guys to understand how this works bring up your own engineering from you know chain of thought or you know reason and act react whatever call it prompt engineering techniques and enhance this further you can also enhance this further uh you know also bring up observability and so on and so forth so this is what i wanted to do in this video okay i hope you uh now i hope you can do it with open source as well in last video as i said we did with uh, uh closed source models you know, like open ai gemini and whatnot now here with llama 3.2 completely from scratch not using any frameworks pure python that we have written uh using all llama library and stuff so if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us I will also recommend you to join our Discord community. I will give the link in description. Please join our Discord community. We really help each other. Already more than 700 people who have joined it and helping each other on a daily basis. Now, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and like the content. Uh, you know, like the video if you like the content and subscribe as well. Share the video with your friends uh, and to your peer. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.